One of the most baffling of all scientific phenomena is the phenomenon known as stigmatization. And in spite of our inability to explain it, that it has occurred even in contemporary times can hardly be disputed. More than seven centuries have passed since St. Francis of Assisi, known during his lifetime merely as Brother Francis, went into the Apennine Mountains and with his disciples climbed out Alberno. There in a rude cell he fasted and prayed for 40 days and nights. The 40th day was September 14th, 1224, and it was the day the vision came to him. The vision of a winged seraph nailed to a cross. He invited his disciples into his cell to witness it. And one of them, looking down at him, cried, This is no vision, Brother Francis. This is no dream. This is a miracle. A miracle of God. One hundred and twenty-five years is a long time. It is sufficient time for facts to be twisted and for legends to grow. But there is the written word of Pope Alexander IV that he saw evidence of the miracle with his own eyes. There is the testimony of those later men and women who underwent the same mystical experience. Benedict de Reggio of Bologna and John Gray and Nicholas of Ravenna and Anna Katharina Emmerich, the peasant girl of Munster, and if anyone still remains skeptical, then we must refer him to the newspapers of July 10th, 1922. For the miracle of St. Francis is not confined to the misty past. It happened again to an ordinary young girl named Mary Riley in the ordinary American town of Peekskill, New York. There, at the home of the Sisters of the Good Shepherd, Mary Riley awoke from a deep sleep and feeling a sharp pain in her side, glanced down. Mother, it has happened to me. It was there when I awoke, Mother. I had a strange dream, and then my side hurt me, and that awakened me. And it was there. A cross of blood? Yes. Just like St. Francis, isn't it, Mother? The wounds of Christ appeared on him. On you it is a cross of blood. But there can be no question it is the same thing. The same miracle of God. <laughs> the phenomenon of stigmatization, the appearance on the body of wounds, either in the form of a cross or in the pattern of Christ's own wounds. Sometimes it has occurred during a cataleptic condition, sometimes only during a heavy sleep. But that it has occurred cannot be doubted, nor has its cause ever been satisfactorily explained. As far as our knowledge goes, it remains what it was in the days of St. Francis, a miracle. A miracle incredible but true. Mm-hmm.